Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to Youth Vlogs. In today's video, we will talk about 10 untold dark secrets of Inquisitor Master. Let's get started. Number 10. We have Inquisitor Master's name. Although quite a famous Roblox YouTuber, Inquisitor Master's real name happens to be a secret, due to the fact that in many instances and previous videos, she goes by the name of Alex Einstein. I mean, of course, her real surname is not Einstein, in which case many people tend to believe. This false fact. Her real name is Alex Terran, which is not the case on many websites. Wonder why? Moving on to number 9. We have her first ever YouTube channel. Before she started off with Inquisitor Master, Alex had another channel, where she was a content creator for photography and graphic makeup tutorials. It's quite surprising how she went from being, I'd say, serious and mature to someone now makes Roblox videos and is surrounded by this very girl-esque lifestyle. It truly is a dark secret she's been hiding. But oh well, at least we are getting good content nonetheless. At number 8, we have her mother language. Alex was an affluent English speaker to start with, as she was born in Spain. She was an avid Spanish speaker as a child and used to speak Spanish with her mother all the time at home. When moving to the USA, her mother enrolled her into English-speaking classes so that she could learn the language and be able to adopt a new lifestyle. I guess instead of just adapting, she took over a huge opportunity in the YouTube community and we have to appreciate her for that. Now at number 7, we have her school life. As a young child, she did get bullied quite often at school, since she just moved into a new school in America. Nonetheless, she never let the bullying get to her. After being so smart and even having a nickname of Einstein, she pulled herself through and is now earning millions from YouTube. In our number 6 spot, we have Robotics Club Career. In middle school, she took part in many competitions for robotics, and such even won a first prize in a competition held in New Orleans. By many accounts of her friends, she was quite good at making the robots, being quite innovative and creative, which made her stand out from the crowd. I don't get why an achievement like this is kept a secret by her, but it's safe to assume that her bullying experience didn't really let her bring this on her video. At number 5, we have her video creating content. If you have followed her videos in her channel or even the old channel, The Little Joker, we can see very skillful cinematography and editing techniques used to make the best content for her YouTube audience. It's the little things like these that make a big difference since it adds to a unique style to her videos. Many people do tend to believe that she has hired an editor, but her past work was done all by herself and her brother's gifted camera. Now at number 4, we have the secret of her working in a candy store. Her professional adult working life started with a candy store, but unfortunately it didn't go too well. On one of the occasions, the cash register malfunctioned bringing in a lot of issues to the store, and she had to take a blame for this causing her to be fired the next day. We can clearly see that many of her life events didn't go too well. Bringing herself up to now being Inquisitor Master is quite impressive. Moving on to number 3. She sold items at the flea market. While working in the flea market, she did enjoy her time there and it was more relaxed compared to the candy store fiasco. While working on her YouTube channel as well and progressively getting more news, she decided to quit her flea market job and become a full-time YouTuber. Now at number 2, Alex had a fear of swimming. Being the smarty pants she is, she happened to be scared of being in the water, meaning she didn't know how to swim. Over time, she built up her confidence and took on the water and finally learned to swim. Not only that, she even started to go to the beach and swim in the sea. Zachary was a big motivational factor for this, and we are glad he is there to help her in her time of struggles. Finally, at number 1, her music choice. She does not, I repeat, does not like to listen to modern day music. Yes, quite odd, but she does prefer classical jazz and music, which she quotes is more relaxing and chill compared to all the drums and bass that people listen to nowadays. 
I guess this is a bit of an off-putting secret, but being so young and all it's quite surprising that this is her music taste. But hey, it's her preference, and we don't need to judge that, as long as the videos she makes are entertaining and her vocals when screaming out of fear are good, it's all fine here folks. So that's all for today's video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get more videos like this. That's all for today, I'll see you in the next video.